In this video, we're going to be looking at doing order of operations with integers. If you've already watched the one with fractions, then really not much has changed other than we're just using different types of numbers. So with order of operations, remember, so we're doing uh, bed mass, so that is brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. As a reminder, division and multiplication it doesn't actually matter what order we do those in, but we do tend to work in left to right order. Okay, so you might remember from fractions, um, we actually can write any division as a multiplication by the reciprocal of one fraction or that number. So that's why um, it doesn't matter whether we do the division or the multiplication first, but we just go left to right like we normally would with multiplying. Okay. For addition and subtraction, it's the same thing. We do move from left to right with addition and subtraction. But what we should be doing with integers is we probably are changing every subtraction into adding the opposite integer anyway. And if we change our subtraction to adding the opposite integer, then all we're doing is adding. And if all we're doing is adding, then it makes it uh, much simpler to see that we can just go left to right, okay? All right, I'll do a couple examples. So again, I do encourage you to work down your page, similar to how I'm working down the slide here. I want you to work down your page. I think that uh, it helps you keep your work a little bit more organized. And I would encourage you, if you have the ability at home to use different colored pens or pencil crayons, absolutely do that to help you keep your work organized. So for this one, I've got uh, positive 6 minus negative 15 divided by positive 5. So between my two operations, I've got subtraction and I've got division. I need to do the division first. So I'm going to underline that, or if you want, you can put a box around it to state that's what you're working on first. And then just draw an arrow to show me what that ends up equaling. So with this division, I have an odd number of negative signs. I have only the one negative, so I know my answer is going to end up as negative. And 15 divided by 5 gives me a value of 3. Now I am going to put that integer into brackets because there are still more things that I need to bring back down. So I have not done anything with that positive 6 or that negative, so I'm going to bring them down and uh, do them in my next line of work. Now you don't want to mix things up and put them out of order. So that's why I want you to work down your page because it's very easy to see that everything lines up. At least I guess if I drew that properly, it would be lined up. And it's easy to see that you have maintained the same order. Okay, so my next step now would just be to do this subtraction, but I don't really want to do subtraction with integers. So I'm gonna rewrite that as I'll rewrite it as positive 6, so the first integer stays the same. Instead of subtracting, I would like to add, and that means instead of having negative 3, I have to flip it so it becomes positive 3. Okay, and now positive 6 plus positive 3 is simply positive 9. So that's our answer to that original question. So positive 6 minus negative 15 divided by positive 5 gives us a value of positive nine, okay? Let's do another one. So again, I wanna move down my page and maintain the same order uh, uh, that everything is in. So as I complete one thing, everything else should stay in the same spot that it's in, okay? So I gotta maintain order. So we've got negative three plus negative two times negative four. So in this case, I need to do my multiplication before I do my addition. So I've got addition, I've got multiplication. We need to do the multiplication first. The multiplication here, I have an even number of negative signs. My signs match. So I'm going to get a positive answer because there are two negative signs. Four times two gives me eight, and I'm gonna put that in brackets. And then I have my negative three and my addition right underneath where they were before. I haven't done anything with them yet. The only thing I've done is what's underlined in blue. Okay, next step is to take the negative three and add positive eight 
these signs are different, so these integers are not friends. That means they're going to have a little battle with one another. The positives, there's more positives, so they're going to beat the negatives, so I know I'm going to have more positives left over. Eight positives, and three of them are going to get canceled out by the three negatives, so I have five positives left over. So my answer up here would be positive five. Okay, so again, I'm working down my page, and I can take my final answer and put it back up at the top. And if you're doing your work at home, it might be a good idea to take a highlighter and highlight your final answer, although it doesn't look as good digitally when I try to highlight it. Okay, all right, last one here. So we've got positive 25 plus negative 10 minus uh, positive 3 times, and then we've got this weird stuff here. I've got these things. Um, these are just brackets, okay? So often with integers, and then as you get into more complex mathematical expressions, we're going to use square brackets instead of the rounded brackets. And I'm simply using square brackets to show that this is not just holding an integer. Because look, I got little, bra little curly brackets all over the place, right? All these rounded brackets. So we use a pair of square brackets just to really emphasize that that operation must come first. Okay, so I've got positive 25 uh, plus negative 10 minus positive 3 multiplied by this set of brackets which has positive 2 minus negative 2 inside of it. So I do need to work inside the brackets first. Okay, and inside the brackets I have a subtraction statement, and so I don't really want to work with that subtraction statement. What I would rather do is work with positive 2, and instead of subtracting, add, and the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. So that's what I'm going to work with first. Instead of subtracting, I'm going to add the opposite. And positive 2 plus positive 2, those guys are the same, so they stay with the same size, or stay with the same sign and they just grow in size. So now we have positive four. I'm gonna rewrite everything else that I haven't done anything with yet, and notice I'm writing it directly underneath where it was. So everything I haven't used still comes down in the same order. The only thing that changes was the part that was underlined. So now I have addition, subtraction, multiplication. I must do the multiplication next. The multiplication between positive 3 and positive 4 would give me positive 12. And then again, I still have everything else that I have not used, so the 25 plus negative 10, and then that subtraction. My next step is going to be actually to get rid of this subtraction, because I've got adding, I've got subtracting. So yes, I'm going to go in order from left to right, but I know I don't want to subtract. So since I don't want to subtract, I'm going to change that to an addition. So I'm just going to take a second to rewrite this here. I've got positive 25 plus negative 10, and then I'm going to rewrite that as adding negative 12. And now I have two addition signs, and since I'm just adding... If you can keep it all straight in your head, you can just add everything all together. So 25 plus negative 10 would give me positive 15. And then positive 15 plus 12 negatives is going to leave me with positive 3. Okay, so I'm going to get positive 3 as my answer here. Now, if you want to go step by step, that's fine. You can do this addition first to get our positive 15. And then positive 15 plus that negative 12 is going to give you that same positive 3. Now, the nice thing about changing everything here, so I had an addition and a subtraction, the nice thing about changing it all to addition is I could go backwards. I could take this negative 10 and add the negative 12 to it to get negative 22, and positive 25 plus negative 22 is still 3. So that's the benefit of changing your subtraction to addition, is then you actually can go in whatever order you like. Just make sure when you rewrite it, you're adding the opposite. And that's order of operations with integers.